Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see the top SQL keywords asked in interviews. So let's begin. The first most keyword that is asked the most in many of the SQL interviews is the group by keyword. So, the group by keyword is used along with the aggregate functions like count, max, min, average, sum and groups the result set. Okay, if you have numerous data and you want to group that data based on a particular column or on a particular parameter, then you can use the group by function along with these aggregate functions. And here is an example of the group by statement wherein you select the count of customer ID and the state from customer group by state. This will give you uh, that how many customers are present in each state. So this is the function of the group by keyword. The next most asked uh, keyword in the SQL interviews is the limit keyword. This limit keyword retrieves the records from the table in order to limit them based on the limit value. Okay, you can, uh, you can specify that at what number you want to stop the retrieval. So select star from customer limit 3. What this will do is it will only extract 3 records from the customer table. Next, the third most asked keyword is the truncate or the delete keywords. Okay, These are the two different keywords and mostly the difference between the two is asked. So delete is used to delete the ex existing rows from a table and it basically works with the where uh, statement, okay? Uh, it can be used to delete a single record or multiple records from a table. Whereas truncate is used to delete the data in a table, but it, it does not delete the structure of the table, okay? Truncate is used to completely uh, empty the table. Once you truncate the table, all the records in the table are deleted, but the delete keyword is used to delete the records based on a condition. So this is the example C, delete from customer where name is equals to Rajesh. So it will delete all those records for which the name is Rajesh. But if you truncate table customer, then it will delete all the records from the table, but the structure of the table will remain intact. Next, we have the exist keyword. The exist keyword checks if a certain record exists in a subquery. So you see select column names from table name where not. Exist select column names from the table name where condition. So it will check that a particular column or a particular value is present in the subquery or not. This is the function of the exist keyword to check the existence of a value in the subquery. Next we have the case keyword. This keyword is used to display different outputs according to different conditions. So if, uh, if you want to specify various outputs for various conditions, for suppose if we have two values of gender, male and female. If the gender is female, then you want to display the age of the female. Or, and if the gender is male, then you want to display the designation of the male. So you can do both of these using the case when statement. Okay. So you can see an example here, select customer ID comma name comma case when state is equals to Punjab, then state is Punjab, else state is not Punjab. Okay, so it will simply display state is Punjab wherever the state is equal to Punjab. And if the state is not Punjab, then it will display this, that is state is not Punjab. This is the use of case when and it is widely used for various applications. And it is also asked compulsorily in many of the SQL interviews. Next, we have the commit and rollback keywords. The commit uh, keyword means that the changes made in the current transactions are made permanent. Okay, once you apply the commit keyword, the transactions made up till that step are stored permanently in the database. And a rollback statement cancels all modifications made by the current transaction. For example, if you delete a certain record and then you type the rollback statement. Once you execute the rollback statement, the deleted record will, will be displayed again in the table. 
करेक्ट दिस इज द रोल बैक स्टेटमेंट सो कमिट एंड रोल बैक वर्क ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर एंड दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल एज द एग्जीक्यूशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो दिस फॉर द सिक्स की वर्ड्स दैट वी सॉ टूडे एंड दीज आर द मोस्ट आस्ट की वर्ड्स इन एस क्यू एल इंटरव्यूज ग्रुप बाय लिमिट ट्रंकेट एंड डिलीट एग्जिस्ट केस कमिट एंड रोल बैक Thank you for watching this video. Do like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.